hello and welcome back to plan on planning here we are in the big baby this is my business planner it keeps me all the way together because you see i have tons of space to write everything down and i am completely loving it but we can't leave it so plain jane we can't leave it so ordinary and boring we gotta kick it up several notches and to do that we first want to get rid of this march nothing against march personally we like it here. March is way better than um, January ever was. And I'm feeling it way more than I was feeling February. Let's just be honest. March is killing it right now. It is filled with opportunities, filled with love, filled with goal setting. And to make sure we get those goals set, we got to make this really attractive. And to do that, I have these super cute washi. I was thinking I was going to go a little more girly this time around. But with the washi, but I'm going to fill it with nothing but inspiration. So we're going to lay this washi down like we lay down our hair. Here we go. I'm just going to smooth it on out. I'm going to get it as close to the spirals as possible or the coils as possible. Bam. And I just left that because it's like I'm not racking my brain. I'm not squinting, killing my eyes, trying to match it up to the corner. Now I say that and then super easily put it down over here. But I make sure not to press it all the way down because I want to spare myself the annoyance of having to deal with a bubble if there is one. So what happens is when you don't push it all the way down in the corner, you can smooth it out and allow whatever bubble crinkle wrinkle just to knock itself on out. Here we go. Look how pretty that is. It's just filled with hope and I love it. Okay, and to go with that, we have this super cute little pink washi going on here. It has a little design decoration. I love it. And if I can find the beginning, okay, here we go. And I'm gonna put it right under, well, it's gonna overlap just a bit because I don't wanna cover my Monday. There we go. Bring it all the way to the spirals and snap. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And snap. Now, because this cute little pink washi is so cute, I'm just going to add it and frame out my days for the week. And what I do is I just use the line. Let me get a little closer so you can see. I just use this line here as my guide and I go straight across because it gives me enough space above the actual date. So it's a great uh, measurement. And I'm just going out. Bam. Super simple, super easy. Now, like I said, I'm just filling this week with inspo. That's it. Because the weekend was like, ugh. So I just need some reminders, a little pep in myself, a little something extra to get me going. And why not let my planner do double duty and give that to me on a regular basis? Like, y'all. So here we go right at the bottom, which actually is not as difficult as you may think. You just go straight. Bam. what and just look look at the start of that it's so beautiful so beautiful Alrighty, and let's keep the party going 
bring it over a little bit. There we go. Bam, look at that. I just love it when a plan comes together. And even though there's not a date on the bottom, like it's just a notes area, I still want to bring the look together and add something to the bottom. I'm not going to go all the way across. I'm not going to do that. But I am just going to frame it out, like I said, to bring the look together, bring both sides together, make them look, you know, like they like each other. Like they know each other. Like they're part of the same book. And so we can have cohesiveness. So everybody's equal. Because you know, we're all about equality. See? And then as a whole, bam. Talk to me now. As a whole, what? We doing it. Okay, so... Like I said, I just want to fill this book with nothing but inspiration, nothing but positive thoughts. And to do that, I'm using my quotes. So there's a ton of things going on in here that's just going to make me feel like somebody, basically. And to do that, we're going to start our Monday with, first, I drink coffee, then I do things. Because if that's not the anthem, honey child, I don't know what is. Let me tell you. For some strange reason, I thought it would be a good idea to let go of coffee for the month of February. Please understand, I have to be by 5 o'clock in the morning for work, to get ready for work. And while I'm at work, it is non-stop until I get off. And missing coffee was less than a good idea. Like, I'm just going to be honest. It wasn't uh, my crowning moment. It wasn't um, a good example of my stellar decision making. Uh, the first week was very rough. <laughs> It was really rough. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, whew, it was rough. And the second week was a lot better. But it was hard to stay awake, to be honest. That was like the biggest thing of mine. It was just really hard <laughs> to stay awake. All right. This says good things are going to happen to you. This says, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. This says, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. So I'm saying, just a whole bunch of inspiration. This is, what are you waiting for? Which I thought was perfect for a Thursday. Because for some strange reason, by Thursday, you're either like full speed ahead or... One more day, one more day. So, I chose to go to the full speed ahead. And last but not least, I love this one. Don't stress, you do your best, forget the rest. That's right. That's right. Forget the rest. Like, I'm doing exactly what I'm capable of, pushing myself a little more to maximize my capabilities and to really push myself and see what I'm made of. Leave me alone. Don't stress me, okay? That's basically what that means. Don't freaking stress me out. Let me do what I do when I do it. I mean, not with that type of attitude, though, just to be honest. <laughs> we don't want to talk to people with that type of attitude. But... It's just a reminder to yourself. It's like you're doing exactly what you can. You're giving a little bit more. So you're giving your 100 every now and then. You know, you're really like, I got this. You're giving your 110%. So it's like, don't don't stress the rest. Like, you know, give 
give yourself a little uh, leeway every now and then. Like, it's okay. If I could find... I lost my... Oh, here we go. I'm looking for my to-dos and todays. You know I love me a to-do and today. But there was some todays. Like, oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. This is in my brights. And it's just little to-dos. Because this is what really this planner is about. Just getting the to-dos done. So you can, like, check them off a list. And like I said, I just want to keep it really simple outside of the inspo. Bam. To-do. Just flag it. To-do. And I'm loving the bright colors of everything. To-do. Excuse me. So do. What you doing? So do. To done. That's what I want to go from to do to to done. Here we go. From to do to to done. I love it. I just love it. I actually really love the simplicity of this spread that I have going on here, to be very honest. You know, sometimes you get so caught up in making your planner cute and Instagrammable and noteworthy because you want this, that, and the third. But you have to make sure that it's functionable, that it works for you. And you can achieve what you need to achieve. Like your planner is your tool to achieve your goals. So if I have too much going on, yeah, it looks great, but it's not helping me. It's becoming a hindrance because now you're spending so much time making your planner cute because you want it to be Instagrammable. Then you figure to use your planner because you're like, oh, it's too cute to use. Then what's the point of having it? Like it doesn't help me if I can't write in it. If I feel like I can't write in it. So, this is perfect. I mean, throughout the week, I may add like an extra cute little sticker here or there. But honestly, this is perfect for me just where it is right now. And I completely love it. So, I thank you ever so much for joining me, for listening to my little spiels, my little talks. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop something below. If you feel more comfortable emailing me because you're a private person, my email is plansonplanning at gmail.com. Please do not forget to follow me on Instagram at plansonplanning. Once you hit the follow button, make sure to hit the send message, slide into my DMs, and we can talk about whatever. If you want to talk about washing, if you want to talk about stickers, if you want to know about the pens I use, the markers I use, anything. Let's talk about it. Ew. But in the meantime, in between time, a little day.